Yo, this is Johnny Nunez. I'm a photographer, but Nas said it best. I got all the pictures. I'm from Brooklyn, you know, Greenpoint to be exact. And I loved hip hop from the very beginning. I had gotten kicked out of a, a program uh, with Nassau Community College. I was three months away from graduating. I saw a racial incident and uh, I was compelled to, to make a complaint. And uh, based on that complaint, I was thrown out. <laughs> um, I started photography through prayer. I asked God for an idea. Photography is sort of like, a, almost like a chef. You know, you, you gotta know what you're cooking. Hip hop is my specialty. I'm proud to say I was at the, the beginning uh, of some of these iconic artists that are billionaires today because I was at some of their showcases. I was at some of their listening parties when no one really knew who they were. When I photograph, over a billion people see my images on Getty Images. So when I show up in a room, I'm not just there to take a great photo that I want. I'm also there to take a photo that hopefully will push the artist's visibility to the next level. So those artists that realize that will always give you, show you love. Don't get me wrong, there's artists that don't care. They're just pure self-absorbed. They can care less what you did for them, but that's fine. What it takes to get the perfect photo is knowing the shot that you want and working to get it, but get it organically. Nothing beats when a group of friends are talking and laughing together. The other day I was looking at a photo of Drake and LeBron and Jay-Z and OG Wan laughing together. You know, I'm like, that's an NFT. <laughs> I did an NFT capsule collection and inside the NFT, I explained the story on how I got that shot and how I called Jay to come next to, to, to Warren Buffett and take that picture of them hugging and laughing. This is called Cat Skins. This is a young brother named Marlon Woods who invented this. It's patented, first ever. Anything you apply hip hop to, it's gonna get, it's gonna get big. Put on Timberland boots and you're a famous artist. Everybody's gonna flock to it. You put on Levi's jeans and a Levi's suit. What I see different now is that more black and brown people, rather than buy some foreigner's brand, they'll make their own brand. Migos, you know, Lil Baby, the baby. They're realizing that everything we point to blows up. So why not be, you know, uh, black owned? You know, why not be Latin owned? Why not? market yourself and your own brand, you know, straight out of the motherlands, another young black designer. So that's what I see. I see more of us not trying to sell and give away our publishing rights. Nas, Fat Joe, Jay-Z, uh, DJ Khaled, Puffy. It's not just good enough to make music and design a, 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 a collection. How about owning the whole entire company like Rihanna, <laughs> you know? Why not be a billionaire? Why not be a multi-billionaire? You know, we get big when we dream big. Happy Black History Month.